So my plan is to map out the north because I get a lot of questions on where to go, what to do. And the problem with the north is there's so many different roads and they're all good. There's no right or wrong answer. The way I like to describe it is like a ski resort. You go to a resort and there's just hundreds and hundreds of different routes to do. On this trip, I want to try and figure out which is actually the best to try and make a sort of set route uh, for people renting our bikes. So I've hooked up with, what's your name? Eve. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> so I've hooked up with Eve, who's a tour guide who's done the north a lot as a mountain of experience. I've been exploring yeah, north for now 12 years and still discovering. And yeah, like if you want to do uh, Asian Kaobang, there is a five, six, seven uh, different roads. I will suggest one or two, which are the more scenic, with less truck, less traffic. But most of them are beautiful. It's just some of them are more beautiful. <laughs> In fact, you get yeah, you get Asian Kaobang, the, the eastern part, or you can do Sapa, uh, Mukangshai, Dien Dien Phu, Son La. And uh, we will do it in seven days, but in fact, it should be two different tours. Mm. Or people, if they are willing to get two weeks, uh, they can get uh, all in one. So sit back and enjoy as I take you around the north of Vietnam. Day one, we headed from Hanoi to Cao Bang, stopping in the beautiful Ba Bè Lake. For most, Ba Bè Lake would be the first night's rest, but for us, we needed to be there by lunchtime. Eve assures me that Ba Bè Lake is the best way both in and out of Hanoi City, so most tourists will pass through it. What kind of things can you do in Ba Bè Lake? Ba Bè Lake, uh, you can get a small trekking and a boat trip. Boat we trip. are just on the just on the edge. The boat down there. A couple of caves to see. Yeah, there is some two caves around. Yeah. And just a nice guest house uh, with you with Lake View. Pretty nice. How many hours has that taken us? 200 kilometers and 3 hours 43 since we left uh, Hanoi. Yeah, that's with no stopping. I don't mind, but I think with, uh, with customer we should get a coffee break. <laughs> <laughs> After admiring Ba Bè Lake, we headed off to our first cave. Buama Cave. The important thing is it's working. free Wi-Fi. And considering like we're in a random place where not many people will go, like even on normal time, you may be the only person here. Adds to the charm. After visiting the cave, we headed off for lunch. We headed for Puong Cave, which wasn't really a cave, but we did find this cool bridge. A short drive to Khao Bang, a nice city with a good hotel. We decided to head to Pedro Pizza, which is a phenomenal pizza place, especially considering the location. We are going to Pedro Pizza, and fortunately it's still open, because when there is no customers, they close before 8, and I've been disappointed once to see it open at 6.30 and come around 8 and it was already closed. We spent the evening eating pizza, <laughs> drinking beer, <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. and discussing the route for the following days. The following morning was a misty, damp day as we headed off for the beautiful Banyok waterfall. We are on the opposite side on the river and all the tourists on the other side are, are Chinese. China side, Vietnam side. Yes, I'm Vietnamese. And we don't know what that is, let's zoom in on it. it looks like a a bobsleigh track for the Chinese to get down to the waterfall. The entrance to Banyok waterfall it is absolutely stunning. The last time I came here, it was basically empty. There was, we were the only people here. But now it's um, pretty touristy, but it's still really, really nice. A beautiful place. I would come here with a um, real lunch, like a banh mi or something, just to have something to do, sit here, have food and eat, sit here, eat food and look at the waterfall. Otherwise, there's nothing to do here. You just see the waterfall, take a picture, off you go again. Here is Vietnam. Since 2001, apparently. You have to queue up for the picture. <laughs> 
Thank you. Here I am at the side of Banyog Waterfall. It's a great place to go, definitely worth a stop off. And Cal Bang is really nice with the pizza place, good hotel. So this little sort of Banyok Waterfall loop, definitely worth doing and it's a really nice drive as well. After leaving Banyok Waterfall, we headed for the nearby Tiger Cave. What's the cave called? So the name is Dong Ngom Ngao. Maybe it's better to read it because I don't know how to pronounce it. Hmm, Dong Ngom Ngao. Okay. There's a dog on the roof. Oh yes. Hello. He's got the best view in town. So this cave is a round trip, not a backwards and forwards. You go in a nice big circle. So let's check it out. This noise is never going to get boring. You're not going to sneak up on anybody with those on. No. <laughs> they need to get some help for the lighting. <laughs> you can't see shit. No. But it's quite cool, it's basically a massive tunnel. Enough caving, it's time for lunch. What bottle of luck? Bottle of luck? Coca. Okay. Or Red Bull. Okay. Red Bull? You have Red Bull? Red Bull. Oh. Red Bull. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Carbo. Co Kanzanga. 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 Cool. Need energy? That's it? Yeah. I thought I would let you read the menu before I just say Bao Lok Lak. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Well, if this was a food channel, I would uh, explain what they're doing, but I have no idea. So when you're in the countryside and you don't know what you're doing, you just order four lock lac, and that's the basically beef, French fries, and vegetables. So it's the safe option. So it's the first thing I'll order when I go to restaurants and I don't know what I'm doing. But me, I don't mind to be really safe, so I get uh, milk as a calamar. And as one of my friends always said, uh, when they propose some fish, some seafood, uh, here in the mountain, he said, I'm too far from the sea. <laughs> Which is <laughs> quite True. smart, but sometimes I'm not smart. Let's see this afternoon. During lunch times, I always scour Google Maps for little camera icons. I saw one nearby, so we decided to go and check it out. This one was called Taco La. Get here was about a five minute detour from the main road. Well worth it. Very tempted to go swimming though. And over there is even a little hut for uh, relaxing. Nyung Tung Pa Piat or Dung Mountain is known as God's Eye Mountain. So let's go check it out. What's this? You see the mountain over there? Yeah, it's cool. It's pretty nice, huh? <laughs> Stay with me. So enough messing about for today. It's time to hit the road and get to the 15 corner pass that Eve keeps talking about. This, this famous uh, pass is a 15. I love it. Oh yeah, look at when, that. When, when you get that on your uh, on your GPS on the motor, you say, okay, <laughs> the <Yeah>. next <laughs> the next two kilometer will be pretty nice. A beautiful road. Absolutely stunning road. Just climbed all the way up there. Beautiful. So it's definitely some of the best road riding I've ever done. Like this is phenomenal on a bike like the CB500. The road just twists and turns all over the place. The mountains are beautiful. The locals keep waving. Uh, it's just such an amazing atmosphere to be out here. Bike's doing a good job. Pretty hot, but it's doing good. As the day came to a close, we finally made it to the mountain pass that we've been waiting for. You 
can't tell from the video, but this was steep. That was nuts, climbing down from there. Very... That was really good. Yes. Uh, 15 uh, story pass. With the day's excitements completed, it was time to head for our final destination of the day, Kaolak. Kaolak, after a really massive and very impressive day of driving, it's been awesome. Beautiful view behind me. So uh, it's about 6 p.m. We're going to go out for dinner because one of the things you've got to be careful of in these sort of remote towns is they close up really early. So if you wait too long, you might find that there are no restaurants open at all. I don't know what that is. Egg with... Nem. Huh? Nem with pork, um, egg and vegetable. Rice. Rice. Tofu with a tomato, tomato sauce. And a bit green. Tastes good. A couple of beers. There's the food there. Shy. <laughs> Run away. The northeast took us two days and one night. Night one in Khao Bang and night two in Bao Lak. Day three for us is now venturing into the Haiyang area, which will be in the next video. The northeast could and should be done much more slowly, with at least one extra night in Ba Bear Lake and an extra day to explore. Thanks for watching. Tune in to the next video for Haiyang and the Northwest.